Welcome everybody, this is Brian Whitmarsh and this is my journey on my tailwheel endorsement. This is session five and um, about five hours into it and we're going to fly 1.1 hours today. Got the camera turned on, waved the camera and a few things you take for granted like how do you get into these tail dragger airplanes? Let's see, left foot, right foot, left foot, grab the bar, right foot in, butt in, left foot in. Yeah. That looked cool. All right, figured out how to get the door closed. And just finished all my pre-flight checks, firing the airplane up, and getting ready to taxi out for my first takeoff. Today we're going to focus, stay in the pattern, just focus on takeoff and landings. It, uh, I picked today because my instructor said, hey, you need to stop coming out on nice, calm days. You need to find a crosswind day. And today we had um, about five to seven knots of true crosswind on runway nine in Buell, Idaho, uniform 03. The wind was blowing from the left side to the right side. All right, getting ready to take off here. Got everything checked, fired up, push that nose forward, get up on two, and then pop the airplane off the ground at about 60 knots. Didn't quite pop like I had expected. And my instructor allowed me to do this, noticing that I hadn't set the proper flaps for takeoff in this mall set it at one notch of flaps, which is 20 degrees of flaps. Again, got to break the habit of the Cessna always taking off, typically no flaps unless it's a short wheel or soft wheel landing for takeoff. Here we're coming in, first wheel landing. Again, just trying to get down to the ground and touch the ground. We're going to do a bunch of touch and goes here. Got down. Unfortunately, you notice that my right wheel touched down first. I uh, had crosswind control in, but not enough crosswind control. You want to land with that crosswind wheel down first. And then you want to continue to turn into that crosswind, adding additional aileron control. Coming in for second attempt here, focusing on keeping the crosswind. Get that left wheel down first. And hopefully we see a little smoke on this left wheel first before the right one and just hold it off hold it off touch it tap it tap it again tap it again okay we're oscillating let's just get out of here and uh, you are very humble when you're taking your tailwheel endorsement at least I am coming in for my third attempt and uh, goal here was just to paint the line with the left wheel and I kind of took that literally my Distance between the lines, I got a little bit more and more. Uh, again, didn't control my speed or my drop weight well enough in order to smoothly touch down. Wheel landing four, coming in here, crosswind control, get that left wheel down first. Pull it off, tapped it, tapped it here, went into a three point landing there. Now I'm starting to realize again, you forget that you need to stick your landings. What I mean by stick landings in a tailwheel aircraft is once you get those mains down, you push forward on the yoke to stick the landing. Coming in here, trying to focus on a bunch of different things, but smooth touchdown, not so smooth, came in here, a little bouncy, but again, this time I finally push forward on the yoke and kept it down on the runway and we're going to take off here. That's probably the biggest tip that I've that has helped me with my landings is coming in, you know, get all lined up and then stick your landings by softly touching and once you're touching, push that push that nose forward. I had some challenges with the GoPro. I accidentally set it in slow-mo and every once in a while this is a new Hero 9. I don't know what the issue was, but um, every once in a while the, it would get jerky. This one, I was able to stick it without too many big bounces here and uh, roll down the runway and touch and go, take off and get out of there. Clean up the aircraft. 
here is a, a full stop. Again, still got the crosswind control in, needing to touch that left tire down just ever so for that's uh, almost about the same time. Coming down, push it, stick it to the runway. This is one of my better uh, wheel landings. And you're always flying this airplane. You do not take your attention off the rudders or the controls at any time because things happen very quickly. All right, that came to a full stop there. Here's my second takeoff. I actually put in the proper flaps there. So we got one notch of flaps. Uh, you're going to see it pop off the runway a lot quicker this time, uh, which is it's designed to take off with one notch of flaps or 20 degrees of flaps. Keeping it straight down the runway, popping off, positive rate of climb very quickly. It's a constant speed prop, though I'm taking off the uh, adjustment there in the prop after I take off. All right, here's another full stop landing. This one, I was practicing on saving it, whereas that first bounce, if it's not too bad, you can add some additional power and get ready for another smoother touchdown. If you don't add power and you just start oscillating, bouncing hard, uh, get out of there. Now go around, have another try on it. Here, the mall doesn't have a both on tanks. You have either left or right and I had been running um, all day on the left, so I switched over to the right, and before I decided to run down the runway, I did a quick little run-up, just to make sure, you know, if for some reason the switch didn't happen properly, you want to uh, have it cut out on you on the run-up versus taking off down the runway. All right, got one notch of flaps in here, got the tail wheel up, I'm trying to keep it straight down the runway, and Practicing on taking that crosswind. When you take off, you're going to have the full crosswind control in, so it's basically yokes turned to the far left, and then as you pick up speed, you start to take that crosswind control out. So you don't want to lift off the ground and instantly turn to the left, which I've done before. Here we come, man, for another full stop landing. A little harder bounce, putting in some power, turned it into a three point landing, and We'll coast this one out of here and do a full stop. All right, here's my fourth takeoff. We're getting towards the end of session five. And here we go. Getting a little jerk on the camera there. Proper flaps. See all that rudder control there. And popping off. Airplane up. Here's, I believe, the final full stop landing. Coming in here, touching down, got that left wheel first, putting in the crosswind controls, keep it straight down the runway, pull back on the throttle, let that tail wheel touch down, and then pull the yoke all the way back to keep it on the ground. When you're taxiing in a windy condition, you want to definitely make sure you're using the right uh, wind controls here. All right, we are done with session five. Felt better about that, starting to understand how to get the landings, not quite figuring out my GoPro because it decided to flip on me and came out able to get, I don't know what it's doing, but uh, we straightened it out. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to go back and look at some of the other sessions two through four, there should be some links here in the video, and I'll see you in the next session. Thanks a lot.